El Bombero loads up quietly. Tarentum the mare completes the lineup. 1,200 meters all set to sprint. Ready to go. Set and a when racing got them way to a good start over here. Knowingly was quick out. Ashkenazi is also quickly away. Dolphin goes up with the early speed, and Kangaroo Jack is also very quick in those early stages. Devar behind that with Issa Pingo to Rentum. Oculus has been struggling in the early part, is racing wide outside, is seven or eight lengths off the leader, being passed by Bellinos. Then Olive Garden and El Bombero towards the back end of the field. Bert Vert is the trailer now with 700 meters to go. Ashkenazi heads them down the strip, leads by a couple of lengths from Dolphin Racing second. Kangaroo Jack has a handy spot in third. Devars towards their outside. They followed by Knowingly. Tarentum is further back. Here behind those is Oculus. Got six lengths to make up. Behind those towards the inside, El Bombero. 400 to go. Kangaroo Jack about to pick up the lead from Ashkenazi. Tarentum. Dolphins down the inside. Further back to Devar. Oculus still five lengths adrift. Down on the inside, Dolphin with 200 to go, and Kangaroo Jack, these two. Dolphin, Kangaroo Jack to fight it out. Dolphin and Kangaroo Jack, but Kangaroo Jack now asserts, and Kangaroo Jack will go on to beat Dolphin, Ashkenazi, Oculus, and never dangerous for Then Bellinos, Tarentum, further back, El Bombero, then Devar, Olive Garden, knowingly, Bert Vert towards the rear with Issa Pingo. Kangaroo Jack, a useful debut. He finished five lengths off them. He was drawn badly today, but people put too much emphasis on the draw sometimes, I feel. And a horse, a good horse can win from anywhere. This is the son of Karari, superbly bred. He's out of the model man mare rainbow flag. Well done to Gary Alexander, Andrew Fortune. And the three-year-old son of Karari wins well. Bred by the estate of the late Mr. Brian Wallace, owned by Joyce Wallace, and about three quarters of a length winner from Dolphin in second. Ashkenazi's run into third. Oculus was never traveling well. Finished back in fourth position. Bellinos is fifth. Tarentum further back, El Bombero and Devar. Then came Olive Garden, knowingly. Big gap away then to the strugglers at the back, Bert Vert and Isipingo. Here's that head-on replay. Will Dolphin, first run as a gelding. May have just needed it slightly. Comes up alongside here, does Kangaroo Jack. These two pulled clear of Ashkenazi. You'll see Oculus down the center, the JJ, the jet plane colors. It's just not making too, many, too much inroad here in the closing 200 meters. It'll be left to Kangaroo Jack, a son of Karari, to win it. Well done to Joyce Wallace and the estate of the late Brian Wallace. He was very passionate about his racing. Nice to see Mrs. Wallace in the winner's enclosure with Gary. Alexander, whose stable is still very much in form. Nine Kangaroo Jack, the winner of the second race. Well, it's the three-year-old son of Kuwari, number nine, Kangaroo Jack. Well done to Mrs. Wallace. Lovely to see those uh, silks of the late Mr. Wallace back in the winner's enclosure. It has been a while, but number nine, Kangaroo Jack, shows a bit of a surprise win over here and has come through under jockey Andrew Fortune for trainer Gary Alexander. Number nine, Kangaroo Jack, fights off. A good performance by number three, Dolphin, the son of Trippy from Robbie Sage, Ryan Munger, aboard this afternoon. Third, going the way of number four, Ashkenazi, Matthew Thackeray, Clinton Binder. And fourth, two number two, Oculus, the favorite, from a deep draw under Pierre Stradham for trainer Lucky Hudalakis. Nine, three, four, and two, provisional result, race two. And returning to the winner's enclosure, another good ride here by Andrew Fortune, winning aboard number nine, Kangaroo Jack. Having his second start, he's a three-year-old bay colt by Karari, out of the model man mare Rainbow Flag, bred by the estate of the late Mr. Brian Wallace, owned by Mrs. Joyce Wallace, trained by Gary Alexander. Well done to the winning connections of Kangaroo Jack as a winner of his maiden today here at Turfentain. Second was number three, Dolphin. Third to number four, Ashkenazi. Fourth, number two, Oculus. And fifth was number five, Belenos.
Result of race number two, the victory to nine, Kangaroo Jack. Well done to those winning connections. Well, it is at number nine, Kangaroo Jack, that comes through to win the first league of the bipod for the Gary Alexander Stable. Mrs. Wallace, well done to you, ma'am, and Andrew Fortune. Draw 14 over 12 hundred meters. That's impossible. Please take us through this one. Well, it does, it, it does look like when you, when you say it that way. But there was a lot of first-timers in the race, and we got in the parading, and I said to Gary, at least like eight or nine first-timers, and I don't want to get behind them, so let me rather get positive. I know I'm going to get caught wide a little bit for the first furlong, but... Uh, you know, he's got to add us a little bit bamboozled because he blows in workers also. That's the only reason I never fancied him. You know, first time out, he was kind of probably 70% right, and his fitness has improved. Gary was pretty confident that he'll run a big race, you know. And listen to me, we will take anything. You know, of course you will. A win is a win. Now, I want to ask you, is this horse named after you? Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll no. take the fifth. I'll take the fifth. Okay. Well, then, you, Andrew, just uh, please, I've got to ask you, in, in the last, uh, Paris Princess, you've taken that ride over, of course, uh, hit the big time? Yeah, I, I, I just, I, I must personally think she's a better filly. I really do. She might not be today, uh, although I think she'll still be today. And uh, she probably won 10 furlong, but she's 18 today. And uh, I, I think wherever hit the big time runs, I'll be in front of it. Well, it's always a pleasure, Andrew. Thank you. Thank Hope you. Hope see you again. I, I'm surprised you never asked about the big horse. But it's, uh, yes, it's, well, I'm, I'm going to ask the man okay, behind okay. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Thank you, Andrew. Right, Gary, well done to you, sir. As we said, uh, from that draw and too short, this is a really good one. Yeah, I think uh, the, the thanks has got to go out to Andrew Fortune. He got him into a really good spot. And uh, from there on up the straight, you always had them inside. So on the inside track, you've got to have them a little bit handy and in touch. But it's just nice for Joyce and Claire and the Wallace family. It's, uh, they've been through a rough time and I just hope it puts a smile on their face. Yeah, I'm sure they will be very excited about this one out here today. Now the big one, of course, uh, Pivotal Pursuit coming up later and then hit the big time in the last? Yeah, I think uh, Pivotal, it was uh, tough to win five in a row. Uh, through my career, I've only had about three or four horses to do that and they've got to be a bit special. Uh, if he wins today, well, then we know what we're sitting with. Um, if he wins today, then you hit the big time. Uh, let's hope so. <laughs> But and going through to the last race, I mean, there's, uh, besides hit the big time in Paris Princess, we have got big chances. You know, you can't uh, discount a horse like Arabian Arrow, who runs on strongly. Gypsy Myth, who's looking for um, a, a shot. She comes on also running well. And of course, Matsuri's got to draw one. So they're all in there with their chances. So I'd be a bit cautious and uh, include them in the quartets. Stable on fire. May it long keep going here, Gary. Oh, let's hope so. Thanks. Thanks, Gary. Gary Alexander, Dean Alexander, and the whole team out there. Top right again from uh, Andrew Fortune. From that draw, over 1,200, I won't even tell you the stats. It's almost uh, physically impossible. Nine, three, four, and two. That's the numbers you need for the first leg of the bipod. Lucky for